What's good? I'm Xavier from The Extra Trainer. Today's video is going to be a back day video. And also, I'm going to talk about balance and how being cheap is expensive in terms of accomplishing your dream. So, with that being said, we're going to open up with a couple different quotes. So, the first quote is going to come from Rudyard Kipling, and it's Beware of the overconcern for money or position or glory. Someday you will meet a man who cares for none of those things, and then you realize just exactly how poor you are. And then the second quote is going to come from Proverbs uh, chapter 22, verses 24 through 25. Make no friendship with a man, give it to anger, nor go with a wrathful man. At least you learn his ways and entangle yourself in his snare. And I'm going to hit you guys with another biblical quote. It's going to come from Proverbs again, chapter 18, verse 24. Some friendships do not last, but some friends are more loyal than brothers. Now, with that being said, uh, before I jump into this particular video, uh, what I want to break down about this particular workout is I didn't do any deadlifts today. I just did rack pulls. I worked up to like five or six plates and then I went and I did a bunch of back machines. Now, today's video, I want to talk about a number of different things. I think I'm just really going to boil it down and try to keep it concise. And we're going to talk about why being balanced or trying to be balanced and cavaliers for the weekend average. So I'm going to break down a couple of different things and we're going to start off with most people lifestyle. So the number one thing that I hate that make most men come off as weak and average is one, being around new people, new circumstances, and then you front your move and pretend to be something that you're not, or you try to come off in an arrogant and egotistical way, and then downplay everybody else as being uh, being insecure when you're doing sucker activities. So when you do sucker activities and a man addresses you for those activities, just simply trying to call him insecure and negate and deflate what he is saying to make yourself appear as if you did nothing wrong, just makes you a sucker. So in addition to that, I kind of want to talk to you guys about what average people do. So average people work meaningless, boring, basic jobs and pretend like they're working super hard and that their job is so time consuming. Average people will act like they have a lot of money and that they make good money. But when it comes to investing in themselves, they don't have the money to spend. Average people spend a lot of time trying to do stuff for free or on their own and have mediocre results average people will compare themselves to you and act like they're just behind you or they're better than you in a number of different ways so one way i look at it is i went to a a fitness convention recently and when i went to the convention a lot of different people thought i was in good shape and the same convention a lot of people with no gains no physique and nothing going for themselves would approach me and tell me that they could be like me in two or three weeks if they weigh 240 you just need to cut down on 190 and other corny things like that the only thing you do is front your move and play yourself now outside of that people who pretend to be educated are annoying and agitating um because one thing i always find is like i'll tell somebody a joke or i'll recommend something to somebody and then they'll turn around and recommend it to me um for example 48 powers of law if you talk to me in passing, that's going to be the number one book I recommend to people just so you can learn and deal with the ignorance and malice that other people do because sometimes they don't know what they're doing and sometimes when they're being malicious and you can recognize the weak ass play they have put forth, it doesn't phase you. Um, outside of that, a lot of people have no utility or use, spend a lot of time on social media, a lot of time on their phones, over six hours on their phone and overall just live a general and mediocre life for example most people work eight hours and they're going to spend very little time outside of work actually doing something meaningful a lot of people go to the gym and their workouts are crap and it's like they're doing activity in the gym is actual exercises the form is terrible but they might think oh i'm following a particular program online and they might ask for advice and i do give people advice but if you're not paying for training i'm not going to be sitting there on every set, every rep, correcting your form or telling you what you should be doing or going over what your diet should be step by step. Um, I'm not going to be telling you what your sleep schedule should be and different things of that nature. If you do ask for general advice, I'm going to give you a general answer. Do not confuse that with actually getting a glimpse of my expertise because you are not a client and I would not waste my time doing such things. Now, outside of that, most people are living a basic life. They act like they live in a ball of life. But all they're going to do is work to 65 and end up retiring. They're never going to achieve the physique they want. They're never going to live the life they want. A lot of times people have 
grandiose ideas about themselves and they want you to believe the hype and a lot of times people try to posture themselves up as if they are as great as you so with that being said um i want to hit you guys with a another quote and as we've become so accustomed to material and social slavery that we no longer see the change that comes from voltaire and the reason that i want to point that out is because a lot of times people will try to lead with being flashy lead with a fake confidence in order to impress people who are just going to roast them and talk about them behind their back and often to their face now with that being said the number one thing you can do to ensure your success is to actually have a meaningful goal actually have meaningful purpose and actually have a meaningful vision just trying to copy uh stuff and just be an influencer because you see other people doing it just makes you corny the free option doesn't work in terms of personal training i meet a number of different people that ask my advice because they want me to co-sign whatever goofy practices they got going on in terms of exercise and diet and i'll give people small breadcrumbs but all it is is a breadcrumb in order to get their fitness goals together because to be honest everybody acts like they have money and everybody will act like they're so successful in life and then i tell them that my bare minimum package cost four hundred dollars and now all the money that they had they were just partying with big meech and, and rick ross and hanging out with rappers and all this other stuff last week all their money's gone and they don't have it so it's like you don't get to use me for my advice you can't befriend me the only thing you can do is pay me for my advice so being cheap is expensive, seeking free workout information online where all you want to do is Frankenstein and workout together is expensive. Pretending that you don't have an ego uh, is also expensive. Um, and a lot of times I think people who may have said they read the 48 Powers of Law really didn't read the 48 Powers of Law. So, for example, law number six is what most people tend to do. They court attention at all costs. And law number 12 is something else that people commonly do. And what law number 12 is using selective honesty now. Outside of that, something that people probably really need to focus on is law number one, which is not outshining the master, not the master in a physical slave and master sense, but the master in terms of who's the most important in that conversation and that dynamic, which is going to tie into law 19, which is know who you are dealing with and don't offend a wrong person. Now, for me, the type of person I am, I'm going to break down the laws that I live by and those are going to be my values. So, Law number five, so much depends on reputation, guard it with your life. I don't tolerate disrespect. If anything is a misunderstanding, we're going to clear it up. You can say what you want to say about it, but I pride myself on my reputation. I pride myself on the reputation of those around me, so I don't go for slander. I don't allow people to slander the people that's in my circle. Now, the next law is going to be law 25, recreate yourself. I come from Chicago. I make sure I move a certain way. I also make sure that the type of person I want to be there every day, I'm creating that version of myself. Law number 29, another law that I live by, plan all the way to the end. I make sure that everything I do is meticulous. Where you see me in terms of where I'm at at the moment does not negate the fact that my end goal is going to be different from that very moment. Law number 30, make your accomplishments seem effortless. I always make it seem like my exercise journey has been effortless. I always let people get their shine or feel like their light is bright. I never go out my way to dim people's light. Law number 46 is never appear too perfect. I always try to prop other people up. I'm never trying to intentionally tear people down and make people look dumb. Law number 48, assume formlessness. I like to be able to blend in wherever I go. And I'm going to make a more detailed video and a podcast breaking down the rest of the laws. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm Xavier from DX The Trainer, and I'm out.